What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Deshaun King. In this video, we're gonna be doing a bubble skincare review. Bubble Skincare is a brand new clean beauty brand that you can get in Walmart. They are very affordable. I'm gonna be showing you guys each of the products that I got and also the ingredients in some of the products that I wanna highlight and also talk about the benefits that I received from these products and how you can benefit from them as well. So if you're interested in that, just continue watching. But before we get into the rest of the video, make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to turn on my post notifications so without further ado let's go ahead and get started so i first heard of bubble skincare when i was on instagram you know just like any other day and then i saw my friend isaiah he did a sponsorship with them it was like some swipe up stories and stuff i'm like hmm this brand actually looks pretty nice i think i'm gonna go ahead and give it a try so i went ahead and i purchased the bundle of three the bundle that i purchased was the gel cleanser the bounce back toner and the balancing moisturizer because they had it sectioned off that way so unfortunately i won't be be talking about the break even toner in this video because I couldn't get my hands on it but you know hopefully if bubble skincare is watching this video they can go ahead and send your boy a little you know a little shum shum so like I said earlier bubble skincare is a brand new clean beauty skincare brand that you can get in Walmart their products are extremely affordable so bubble skincare does not formulate any of their products with any fragrances which is a very very good sign especially since they are actually taking a modern approach to skincare geared towards teenagers and young adults and bubble skincare does a really great job at giving them the resources that they need to not only learn about their skin but to also learn about the ingredients that they have and how to formulate their own skincare routine which is a perfect segue into the branding i love bubble skincare's branding if you go on their website which i will have a little screen recording off to the side they have a ton of resources in their skin school they go into ingredients that are harmful they go into the ingredients that are actually beneficial for your skin they tell you what products to use am and pm they have advice for people that are acne prone as well tons and tons of beneficial information so when I first initially purchased the bundle of three the bounce back toner the level up moisturizer and the gel cleanser it came in this cute little clutch bag you know that has multiple uses you can use this as a travel size bag when you take your skincare with you on the go or you can use this like me if you're gonna be invited to the BET Awards as a clutch purse it's giving off-white it's giving Virgil Abloh it's very easily zippable you know you can store your moisturizer in here, the cleanser and the toner. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It also came with this nice little informative pamphlet that you can open up and it tells you how to use the products AM and PM. They also advise you to put on SPF, which they don't have, but I'm pretty sure they'll come out with one eventually. And on the back of the pamphlet, they also have a little bit of some safety steps that you can take too. They always advise people if you're not sure, if you're trying out new skincare, you should always patch test. The first product that we're gonna use today is the Bubble Skincare Fresh Start Gel Cleanser. This is a very sticky cleanser, which I personally like. I love cleansers that I feel like are just tacking onto my skin because I feel like they mix well with other products. What I really like about this cleanser is when I use this with my other products that I have outside of Bubble Skincare, like my other serums and whatnot, there's no product buildup. Product isn't rolling up in those little balls, like if you've mixed together products that don't go together. And I will use this cleanser day and night because it's gentle enough for me to use. It doesn't strip my skin at all of its natural oils, which I also like. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go off camera, wet my face real quick and then we're gonna cleanse our skin so we are gonna go ahead and pump a couple of that in here I do like five pumps because I'm just extra so one of the top ingredients in this cleanser is glycerin glycerin is a very very good ingredient that helps with hydration and helps retain moisture in your skin and I also like how this product foams up too but not too much in a sense that it strips my skin of its natural oils and it over dries my skin I massage that in pretty nicely And what I will also do, I like to put like a couple pumps of that in my Clarisonic brush too. And get some foam action going on.
One of my subscribers actually mentioned that Bubble Skin Care actually helped their son with hormonal acne. And ever since he told me that, I've been focusing the product more so underneath my jaw here because for the past like couple weeks, I've been suffering just like some irritation under there. It's getting better since using these products. So I actually will attest to that. I feel like this does help with any irritation that's on the skin or any hormonal breakouts. So now that we're done cleansing, I'm gonna go off camera again and rinse this product off and go in with the rest of the product. So now while my skin is still wet, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Come Clean Clay Mask. I love this stuff, I'm obsessed, and I have a couple things that I wanna share with you guys about this product. Two nights ago, I actually fell asleep with this mask on my face, and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm over, I'm over with. I'm gonna have no moisture left on my skin. You guys, when I tell you, it, it was probably on my skin for like, three, four hours, like I fell asleep and I woke up in the middle of the night and I was like, oh my gosh, I still have this stuff on my face. And when I rinsed it off, my skin was still intact. I was not over dried. It was as if I took the mask off after 30 minutes when it was on my skin for like four hours. So I was very shocked and surprised because this is a clay mask and for a clay mask, for that to not suck my skin out of its natural moisture for four hours, that's, astonishing this product actually did come with a spatula i used it once but i get a better application with my fingers i love the texture of this product on my skin and it has this acai color to it if you guys are into acai bowls what i really like about this mask is that it doesn't have that traditional clay mask type of finish or texture to it and what i mean by that is most clay mask will dry down quickly on your skin and like like you'll feel like you literally have sand on your skin but for this mask it stays high it, it dries down, but it doesn't have that rocky finish to it, which I really like. I actually talked about this product in my drugstore skincare video, which I will link above for you guys to watch if you missed out on that video. But one of the key ingredients that I discussed in my drugstore skincare video is that this product contains kaolin. And kaolin is a Chinese clay that actually contains tons of antibacterial properties that's good for acne prone skin. And it also does a great job at exfoliating dead skin cells and absorbing excess oil. Okay, we are all set to go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave this on my skin for about 15, 20 minutes, and then after that, I'll rinse it off, and then we can continue on with the rest of the products. Okay, so I rinsed that mask off, and I also toned off camera with a different toner since I don't have the break-even toner. All I have is the bounce back toner, which is the next product that we're gonna be talking about. I actually will use this to double tone. This is like a new thing that I've been doing lately in my skincare routine. I will use like an actual toner with a cotton pad, and then I'll use a toning mist, such as this one, to layer on top of it. That's just something new that I've been trying out. There's really no scientific bases behind it, it's just something extra that I do. So this product contains sodium PCA, which is a really good hydrating agent that helps replenish your skin's natural moisture barrier. This product also contains glycerin, niacinamide, and citric acid. Niacinamide is a really great brightening ingredient that helps with balancing your skin's uneven skin tone and also correct any dark spots or blemishes that you may have on your skin as well. So we are gonna go ahead and spray a couple pumps of this. Actually, not a couple, quite a few. <laughs> I feel like with this product, you can never really have too much, so that's what I really enjoy about it. And the very last product that we're gonna use is the Balancing Moisturizer. I love this product. This can be used also AM and PM. What I really like about this product is that it does in fact have ingredients in it that are beneficial for the AM and PM. Most moisturizers that claim that you can use them, both AM and PM, don't really have ingredients that are beneficial for overnight use. However, this product contains Zinc PCA, which is a powerful conditioning agent. Zinc PCA actually actually has the capability to break down destructive enzymes on your skin that can lead to skin damage and wrinkles. And on top of that, this product also contains squalane, which is a powerful moisturizing ingredient that is packed with antioxidants and fatty acids. Those two ingredients not only help the skin retain a natural youthful look to your skin, but it also has detoxifying properties. So that's why it's really good to use during the day and also during the nighttime. Another thing that I really appreciate about the packaging of this product is that it has a push down technology to it. A lot of high-end skincare like Drunk Elephant, they have packaging that's similar to this. I find that packaging such as this helps you from overusing too much product. So that's one of the things that I really like about it. So I usually will use two pumps of that and we'll go ahead and apply that on our skin. And this moisturizer applies very light and it is not heavy.
Okay, so my final thoughts on bubble skincare. I enjoy everything that I have here. I don't have a single complaint. The only thing that I will say that can improve their brand is just more products. Like I said earlier in this video, they are a relatively new drugstore skincare brand. So I feel like there's so much plans that they have for the future. I would actually love to see bubble skincare come out with a serum in the future, which is something that I feel like might be their next product launch. Maybe like a hyaluronic acid serum or a brightening serum that has niacinamide. And one thing that I can't stress enough is their marketing. I love Bubble Skincare's marketing. When you go on their Instagram, they have a ton of different variety of people, skin tones, genders, and backgrounds. I can appreciate a brand that is inclusive. I also appreciate that in all the products that I've tried, there was a lot of conduciveness in some of the ingredients. For an example, all of the products that I tried here today had glycerin in it. I look for things like that in skincare when they use some of the same ingredients just replenished in different steps of the routine because you're getting more and more of the same benefits of some of the ingredients just in different products as you go along. I also love the amount of information that Bubble Skincare has available to you at your fingertips. All you have to do is just go on their website and click on their skin school and then you're learning a bunch of information about your skin that you didn't even know. One of the things that I actually learned was the difference between essential oils and herbal extracts. Instead of using essential oils which can be harmful and irritating for people that have sensitive skin, Bubble Skincare will use herbal extracts in their products which are diluted solvents of plants in their products. Basically the process of using herbal extracts allows the plant to be diluted in a solvent such as glycerin, water, etc. And then it allows the benefits of those ingredients to be used in high quantities in the skincare. The more you know. <laughs> and that concludes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to see more drugstore skincare reviews, go ahead and comment a few suggestions down below in the comments. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and also turn on my post notifications to be notified of all my future videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. See you later.